so meal number one, first thing in the morning, I always eat eggs. Uh, today we're gonna actually throw in some ground ribeye and peppers just to uh, spice it up a little bit and to add some extra calories. So let's go ahead and grab what we need here. All right, so the first thing, uh, first thing I'm gonna get going is uh, ground ribeye, and then I've already got the uh, peppers ready to rock and roll here. So grab some scissors. Get this going. Now, how many eggs is it gonna be? So we will uh, we'll have eight eggs each. So we'll have to cook 16 eggs and then um, <laughs> This is, this is a pound of uh, ribeye. We may not get through all of that, but um, eventually we will. A <laughs> right. lot, this and a lot more, so. All right. Definitely not uh, shy about how much fat I take mm -hmm. in. So it's a lot of, uh, obviously a lot of protein, but um, definitely not lower fat or lower carbs. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of everything, but sure. um, there's uh, you know if I can add extra calories, especially the fat, it seems like I respond better to that. Okay. So number two, we're gonna go uh, ground ribeye steak. Uh, so we're gonna cook that up, and then um, just for some flavor, I'm gonna use the rest of the peppers uh, that we didn't use uh, with breakfast. So it just kind of flavors the meat, gives it gives it a little bit more um, something different when you eat that much. Uh, steak, you need to flavor it a yeah. little bit once in a while. For and, sure. um, you know, of course, salt does great, but adding some uh, peppers in is not a bad thing. So we're going to fire this up and get rocking. We'll cook it, and then what we'll do is we'll actually weigh it after, uh, after cooking when we get ready to eat. So we're portioning it out that way. And that's how I track it typically is to weigh all the uh, meat after cooking it. Yeah. So no rice in this meal? No, definitely rice. Definitely. Yeah, hundred percent rice. Yeah, rice with basically every meal I have, I have at least some rice. Uh -huh. We'll throw in, um, we'll throw in. Well, you'll see. We'll throw in some potatoes and stuff coming up here in the next uh, next meal. But this one will be just meat and rice. You ever thought about how much rice you go through a week? It's a lot. I mean, I buy it. I buy it in fifty-pound bags. Fifty-pound bags. Yep. Didn't and know they made them that big. Yeah, cost. Right here. <laughs> right here. So we're going another twelve ounces. Another twelve ounces. Meal number three. How you feeling? Twelve. Go. Yeah, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Add more, right? Add Just more. Yeah. All right, and finishing touch. Oh yeah, chicken stock. Chicken stock. Loaded. Gosh, it's, it's like solid now. All right, let's move on to meal number four. Go ahead and focus on that one right now, okay? Oh, wow, it's warm. Yeah. Give, let's... I can't tell you how excited I am. Yeah. It's... So this is a uh, pre-training meal. So the good news is, once we get through this, we need to go train and not eat more. I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna need that. Okay. All right. I'm need that. Perfect. All right. Well, again, I'm finished. Yes, you are. And yours is not finished. Not all the way. I can see. The I, I, see I see you pushing it around to make the bottom. But you up can here. see the bottom. <laughs> so I think we'll button it up and uh, go do some training. Let's do it, bro. All right, sounds good. All right, so just finished an awesome training session, and now we need to get some more calories in our bodies. So, of course we do. Uh, we're gonna hit uh, hit the MRE shakes. So what I typically do post training immediately is to do a double serving of MRE, and that'll give us about 1,050 calories, almost 100 grams of protein. Just a, a really good way um, to get some calories in fast after putting all the work in here yeah. at training. And uh, we will drink this on the way back to the house. 
Yep. And then at the house, we'll get our next whole food meal in. I can't wait. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be good. Do you feel like you worked out some of the calories, though? I did. In training. Okay. I did. That's typically how I feel, even if I walk in here a little bit, little bit full after exerting everything here at the gym, then I'm ready to eat again. It's a lot. And eight. Nice. There you go, brother. For being a thousand calories, it actually mixes up really smooth, you know? It's one thing I love about, love about the MRE is, you know, compared to those shakes that, uh, that are really clumpy and, yeah. and hard to drink and that, they it's never, actually really smooth. Dissolve, man. Cheers, Cheers, brother. Mm. That's great. So, get these down by the time we get back to the house. Oh yeah, we'll be ready. And then uh, ready to eat whole food meal number six. Yep. So we're gonna include this, so it'll actually be meal number seven. And then uh, get that down the hatch. I'm looking forward to it. Rock on, let's right. rock and roll. Let's do it. All right, buddy. Here is the last whole food meal of the day. So we're almost there. Awesome. Almost finished lunch. Are you hungry after training? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Okay. I'll take a little bit. I wonder if I'll be hungry for breakfast tomorrow. I'll be interested to hear, actually. I know you will be. Yeah, yeah. Savor it. <laughs> the last, the last little bit. Mm -hmm. Pre appreciate. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a little nightcap, you know. Sure. My diet, um, I should also say at the beginning, uh, this diet is uh, to make me as strong as I possibly can. So, you know, it's, it's definitely not, um, you know, the, the Mark Bell uh, no carb um, diet at all. I'm just eating to be the strongest human being on the planet. So some of the stuff you might uh, be a little surprised by, but, you know, I have a dietitian that I work with. He shoots me over the diet. I don't ask questions. I just eat and most of the time I, I get a smile at some of the stuff that I get to eat. So meal number one is uh, kind of my choice of cereal. So I think today I'm gonna go with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like that a lot. Um, and then I have eight eggs and then peanut butter. So that's, that's what we, we're gonna kick off with here. So I'm gonna start um, getting the pan going here. It'll be like we're uh, filming a, a cooking show, right? A strongman cooking show. Should be fun, so. So everything, everything's still, even though I'm eating something like this, this is just pretty much to get in and out fast. Um, it doesn't, this meal, uh, even though it's eight eggs and all that, it doesn't seem to really fill me up. Um, and I get through it pretty, pretty, pretty quickly and then I'm hungry again which is exactly what we want. We want it in and out. Um, so you'll, you'll see kind of every meal is gonna have protein and carbs in it uh, through the day and, and uh, we just vary the sources. Um, but it's really in and out. We want the, the engine burning, so to speak, all day long. So definitely gotta try to make food taste good. I'm not, a, not even close to a chef, but normally I'll throw a little bit of seasoning on or whatever to make it easier. If I'm hungry, some days I'm literally just, I can't eat enough. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And then other days it's like, 
not hungry, but I have to force the food. So then if I come to that, if I come to that two hour window and I'm not hungry, then I have to just eat anyway. So this one, like I said, this gets, I mean, it seems like this gets in and out pretty quickly for me. Um, and that's what we want. So if I'm, and especially coming off of uh, such a heavy training uh, last night with the bigger deadlift and anytime I do that, I typically have the day afterwards, my no body's normally craving uh, a lot of food and a lot of calories. So it, that's good because then we'll fire through this. I'll get hungry in half an hour, maybe not even calories up here. So for the first uh, meal, uh, the cereal and, and eggs was like 1200, 1300 calories, um, give or take. So it's a good start. Obviously that's, I think that's probably what some, what like figure and, and competitors, that type of thing would eat in an entire day, 1200 calories or something. Maybe if they're really restricted, um, but we'll be uh, totally, obviously way above that. So we are gonna go into, now we've had we have we've had about an hour um, since my first meal. So meal number two for me will be a uh, protein shake and um, uh, granola bars and peanut butter. So we'll uh, let's do the shake here. So this one, this one, I'm, what I'm going for is about uh, roughly 80 grams of protein. So fill this guy up. You're not quite, and this is this is a bigger shaker. This is a like a forty ounce um, shaker. So I don't um, typically like things. Everything for me is bigger. So uh, I found those, and I was pretty happy because the smaller shakers just don't cut it. So so, and this is just a uh, a whey protein. So I'm gonna do um, this is twenty five. Or it is twenty five. Yeah. 25 grams of protein per scoop. So I'm just gonna do three scoops and then I'll throw a little bit extra just to try to get closer to that um, 80. So there's one. Two, three, and then we'll just throw just a little bit more there. For meal number two here, um, all, all together, we just kind of calculated out the calories. Uh, it's, it's not quite 1100, um, right there. So I think with breakfast was, what, what did we say on that one? 13, 13, 12. Okay. So right now with two meals, we're, um, just above 2300 calories, give or take. So we're, uh, we're doing good, doing good with that. Off to a good start. So we are now getting ready for meal number three of the day. Uh, now we'll get into some meat and pasta. So uh, this will be my beef that I, I get is uh, uh, from a local farm. So it's all certified organic grass fed. Uh, amazing is what it is. Uh, so I'll cook that and then we'll cook some uh, just regular angel hair pasta. And then I get to have that with uh, with a red um, pasta sauce. So this is a good meal. It's, it's kind of a staple um, that kind of comes in and out of my diet, but um, I definitely do a lot of beef uh, typically. So this, this uh, beef is amazing. So it's, you know, there's a lot of talk certainly about different beefs and why, you know, one's higher quality or better. The biggest thing I think for me is other than the taste and it's, it's incredible. Uh, the grass fed and especially this beef that's, all certified awesome uh i can digest it so quickly so back way way back when i used to buy beef from the grocery store i remember i was trying to eat a huge quantity of it and it was just like a lump in my stomach and i i could just tell when i switched to grass-fed the huge difference was i felt better and i could digest it a lot easier and it's healthier for your body if you do a little bit of research on that it's incredible the benefits so um, certainly something to look into if you're not doing that, but, um, yeah. And, uh, the local, if you can find anything local, like here in Colorado, there's a lot of, uh, grass fed beef that you can find from, uh, farmers and that typically is, is the best. I mean, getting it from the grocery store is good as well, but, uh, the next level is to do that. So that's even better. So what we're, what we're looking at here, uh, with this meal is, uh, 
a little bit over 2200 calories total uh, for this meal and then uh, this after I finish this I'll bring my daily um, intake right now to uh, just thousand, over 4500 and this is like I said with my third meal so we're on track for four and again I'm gonna go back to a shake um, so it'll be another uh, 80 grams of protein powder so that's like uh, three and a little bit over three scoops of this um, peanut butter again and then for this shake I'm gonna mix it instead of water I'm gonna mix it in a uh, uh, two cups of unsweetened almond milk so um, yeah that's gonna add a little bit more calories but not not a lot uh, to that and then uh, the carb source for this will be uh, blueberries so I'll do and these are just uh, frozen organic uh, blueberries that I, I throw in there so basically uh, just mix all together again this is this is a nice one for me because I can get it in quick um, and we'll kind of figure out here the calorie breakdown so this uh, once this is done this meal will be another thousand calories um, I will uh, for this I blend it up um, obviously a little bit easier just to kind of throw it all together especially with the blueberries but it makes makes an awesome shake and I'll just slam that down um, so once I get done with this one uh, for the day after this is the fourth meal it's always tough to keep count sometimes but um, we'll be at uh, just over 5,500 calories uh, total for the day after four meals all right, so we are uh, getting ready for meal number five here. So what this is going to be is it's gonna be uh, turkey. Um, so I'll show you here, grab this. So this is just an organic uh, ground turkey um, that we'll have. And then, uh, so 93% lean. Um, and then uh, we'll do rice. This is just a regular white jasmine rice and then broccoli so i'll do that after um i could probably get this going first while i cook uh the turkey so get this fired up all right so uh with this meal Total calories here uh, are just over 1,400. Um, and for the day then, after I consume this, we'll be at uh, roughly uh, 7,000. So, Hayton. And I texted Nathan earlier. I've given him an, an update about uh, deadlifting yesterday and what, you know, kind of how I'm feeling. And this is uh, what he's recommended for me to do. So, typically, this would be another pound of uh, beef and potatoes and asparagus um, that's what i would normally have but this is now subbed in so basically what we're doing here is a big pasta meal a lot of carbs um get ready for uh training tomorrow and then i'll see how i respond to this so essentially that's what's happening and we've guesstimated kind of the calories here here um out to be about rough roughly three thousand four hundred and thirty um, give or take I mean it's it's kind of hard because obviously we this is something I didn't cook and and uh, we got it um, you know take out so that's a pretty I feel like that's a pretty good estimate though because I mean it's it's you know um, quite a quite a few calories for one meal so with that added to the daily total now we'll be at uh, 10,307 kind of a fun meal one of my favorites right now so we're gonna go uh, cheesecake and as you can see I've already it's not brand new <laughs> and then we'll uh we'll also hit some uh bioactive whey protein so we'll do another 80 grams uh protein shake um and then i get to choose how much uh cheesecake that i want with this meal so um typically i would have two or three but as you can see there's only four left right so i'm not gonna leave one there by itself right so we probably should just finish that off feel like that's the right choice to make especially with such a big day of training tomorrow so 
So this um, will be combined uh, 1,650 calories, which will for the uh, for the day after I consume all of this will will leave us at uh, 12,020 calories. Big day of eating, especially because I didn't get to spread it out as much as I would have liked, but I'm actually pretty happy with how I feel. Um, I feel like I've, you know, been fairly hungry, um, you know, give or take. There's a couple meals where I didn't feel as hungry, certainly, but um, tonight I feel good. I feel full um, and I'll feel certainly perfect after I finish all of this here in a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's, you know, I get to see how I respond tomorrow with training and that's really the end, end goal. It's not about trying to eat a lot of food to eat a lot of food. It's how does all of this help me to perform uh, with my training. So yeah, I think it'll be a really good big event day. Um, and my last really heavy uh, event training session before World's Strongest Man. So, you know, we gotta kind of kick it up a notch. We gotta see and, and um, feel, I have to feel how I'm going to respond to all of this to make sure that I'm ready for the contest, which I already know I am ready, but it's gonna be nice when the weights feel really easy tomorrow. So that's the day of eating. It's uh, something we haven't really shown before and, and hopefully you guys you know, can uh, get something out of this. So when somebody actually says to you, hey, I'm eating uh, 10,000 or in this case, 12,000 calories in a day, you can actually see the quantity um, of food and how frequently you would actually need to eat to get that in um, in one day. So pretty crazy, but this is why I say, I make comments a lot about the diet is the hardest part for me. Um, it's not the training. And this is why, because it's constant. All, all day long I have to eat. So part of the job and uh, you know, you gotta make it happen.